What is up guys and of course welcome to the video from yours truly the scavenger and today's video is definitely gonna focus on mega evolutions in sun and moon as of this video we have yet to actually get showcased of course mega evolution or some kind of transformation with any pokemon from of course game freak in any trailers as of now but the latest trailer showcased something that i want to kind of point to and I also kind of want to give my own opinions of whether or not Mega Evolution is going to be a part of Sun and Moon. Granted, the short answer is, of course, yes. It kind of has to be, since it's actually introduced as a function in Generation 6. It seems really weird to just take that out of the way. But the long answer is, of course, what it was showcased. And uh, will in short my collections of that. So, before going in, of course, we're going to showcase a little part of the trailer which I thought was really interesting, and it's interesting because they're showcasing so much in a very, very short kind of transport, and that is, of course, the functions of the Z-move. So, with that said, let's actually look at that part. There are a few things here that obviously happens. I do believe the biggest deal is actually that we get to showcase in actually our menu screen, in the lower menu screen, how it's going to look like. And this looks rather interesting. It looks rather intricate, which is actually really, really interesting. We'll also get to see different animation for different moves. And then when we come to the end, we actually get an animation that is not showcased with a Pokemon. It's actually showcased with the trainer itself, which is definitely the most interesting one. So let's look at this one more time. I slowed it down some, but what? But as you guys can see, the screen is shifting in different colors, and so does his bracelet as it hits off. But that's not the most interesting part. The interesting part is actually that we get, of course, the animation, and every Pokemon get a certain kind of symbol on them, a very yellow symbol reminiscent of, of course, the bracelet itself. But one man stands out a little bit, and that is actually Sandslash in this trailer. Sandslash get a different symbol showcasing that whether or not it is unique in its fashion when it comes to an ice move, because it comes right here, or that it's doing something else. And we actually don't get to know what that is. Though it's very likely, of course, that um, the Mimishu has something different going on. It's just a different symbol that hits off. But the yellow symbol kind of implements that that is the moves themselves and the other symbol seems to be or at least i hope something else but it could also be that the yellow symbol is just a starting animation and i'm missing out of course on that actually showed her an elemental before actually hitting off but i thought at least would be interesting to mention but as i said there it could also just be a starting animation and if that is the case that it's just a starting animation that also means that something in the trailer is a hell of a lot more interesting and definitely something to mention, if anything, because in the end of this trailer, in the end, as they were showcasing, of course, the sea moves, something different was happening. Something different happened to the guy that was showcasing, of course, the symbols and attacks himself. And that is, of course, the trainer. So look at this part, because this part is not only interesting, it is worth mentioning because of the extension of what it could mean for, of course, Sun and Moon in the future. Look at his bracelets now. Previously, his bracelet was shifting in different colors. This time, he's actually going down to his knees, then reaching out his head, much like Mega Evolution, and then he gets the symbol. I'm not even joking here. I think this is a big deal, and it's a big deal because, like I said, he, the trainer, gets the symbol. That is a very big deal. And that's the thing, that's the thing that makes it so interesting, is that there were different dances for different Mon, then you get the Mon, and of course the symbol directly as a starting animation. This animation is different because it's focused on the trainer itself. So I am truly, truly believing this is the animation for, of course, the Mega Evolution, and a start of the Mega Evolution. And you guys have still been mentioning, you know, the obvious fact, and that, you know, I'll, I'll actually deviate and, you know, juggle with you, that uh, until we see a Mega Pokemon, Mega Evolutions are actually unconfirmed, and I'll agree. I'll agree to the every word of extent of that, but 
I also kind of want to mention why I think Mega Lucia is going to be a part of this game. And it's not because there have to be, because it's not simply that. Mega Evolutions, in my regard, are actually a fundamental functioning part from this generation or Generation 6. There would be just simply no reason for them to take that out. Uh, we have seen different kind of shifts where, of course, Rotom Evolutions and whatnot were different from, of course, Generation, I do believe, 4 to 5. But uh, outside of that, we haven't got any game changing Mega or Battles. I was going to say Battle Strap, but that's not what I mean. I mean, Game mechanics. Uh, so game mechanics is definitely going to stay. Now, the interesting part is how they decided to go about it, because uh, that is simply something I can't really breach on. But if you look into the first screen, which of course is the screen of uh, when you hit off a Mega Evolution, it seems to be that you have an arrow uh, to choose from. You have an arrow for, of course, to see moves, and it seems like you have an arrow or something else to do something else. Or at least that is what I hope for. Um, they still have to showcase that, and that is going to stand true. But I do believe this animation is given a pretty much a glimpse of that they're not forgotten, but they're not the gimmick of the game. And since they're not the gimmick of the game, they're not going to market that individual part of the game. Alolan form is definitely what is mattering. There are the biggest game changers, and it could be as simple as that we're not going to have new Mega Evolutions as of this game. I find it very unlikely. But at least that is something to kind of keep in mind. The reason I say this is because, like I said, game mechanics are based for Generation 6. Would no, there would be no reason to actually introduce those very game mechanics to kind of push them aside to the next generation. While I do believe Mega Evolutions, to some extent, are broken, that doesn't go for every Pokemon. And I'm pretty sure Game Freak are aware of that. And there also would be no reason to introduce them VGC of this year, of course, given that it's going to take them away the next generation. I'm sorry to say it, but they're not showcasing it because they want us to want it. They want us to you know, think about what they're doing, what are the next move. And that's a brilliant marketing tactics. And one really have to give credits where credits are due. And Game Freak is doing this right. And like I said, this animation is the closest thing to we got to something else. It might not be Mega Evolution, like I said, I'm pretty sure it will be, but at least they're showcasing that there's something different outside of C moves, and this is it, and they're yet to showcase what that actually is. So with that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have seen something else or in this trailer or something that you kind of hinting on is going to come to Mega Evolution, be sure to, of course, mention that, because there have been a lot of things here that has been showcased with Mega Evolutions that... They haven't showed it, but it's definitely been underlined. And like I said, I'm pretty sure they're not going to be a part of the game itself, but they're definitely going to be a part of the meta. So with all that said, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next video. Until then, take care. Bye.